Well guys, one elephant seems like he's trying to catch up with that big, bigger herd. We haven't actually heard anything down this side yet, but uh, James managed to spot this beautiful bird. It's one that we don't always get to see or get to see all that often. They can be a little bit shy. It's called a crested barbet. Afrikaans barbets and woodpeckers actually have a very similar name. So these guys can be compared to, to woodpeckers in some respects. Also very strong beaks that they use to get into and underneath bark and wood, eating mainly insects and grubs and so on. Very colorful bird. It's got a bit of a sort of a look like it's just gotten out of the washing machine look. That uh, just got out of bare bed hair look that people try and achieve quite often. Fantastic bird. Welcome back in the vehicle. We, uh, we haven't actually moved, we've just been sitting here taking it nice and easy and um, I haven't heard anything yet. We're going to just turn around just now, go back to Spaghetti Junction, just sort of hit that area quite hard, try all the different, what are you looking at James? You're spotting something. Yeah, there's some more birds there but they, they've just gone into the bush now. Okay. <laughs> they, were, they were like kind of playing with each other. Now. Okay, cool. James is always looking for little things to look at as well. I was just hoping maybe you saw some flapping ears or something. Um, we are going to try and find these elephants some more. We're just going to take a little bit of this afternoon. I mean, there's no rush in the end. What have we got to do? After all, spend some time out in nature and show you some of its beautiful aspects. So we're going to try and find these elephants. If we can't find them in the next 10, 15 minutes, we'll, uh, we'll move on and go look around for something else. Just, uh, Ali was just saying, there's a few questions come through. Maybe we'll do a quick question, Ali, and then we'll, we'll go look around some more. It's quite a broad question that, and, and to be honest with you, I don't know enough about specific research that's being done in Southern Africa, or more specifically in this specific area. I think I used the word specific four or five times now, I'm going to try not to use it again. But um, there's no major, very clear indications, like, um, uh, like the, the polar caps that are melting. The other day I saw a program on, on TV where one of the major ice shelves on the, on the North Pole, on the Arctic, disappeared in the space of three weeks. It disintegrated and, and, and broke up in three weeks, not a month, not a year, in a couple of weeks. So there's no major indications like that, and there's no big species like polar bears that we can see specific declines in. Um, in general, I think before we start seeing major influences in this area, it'll take a while. Um, so, no, I can't tell you personally that I can see certain species disappearing or certain things changing. Um, yes, we have a lot of rain this year, and, and some years the, the climate can vary a little bit, but that's not too unusual. But the fact that it is happening and that it will influence us the same as it will influence the rest of the world, I think is something that uh, we all know is going to happen. But uh, I don't know enough to, to give you scientific research done in this area at the moment. We can't see major differences here. But uh, I hope that answers your question, Janik. And um, it's going to go on for elephant. We're going to try some more. Come on, James. If you can spot spiders and grasshoppers and carcasses and trees at 100 meters, surely you can spot an elephant or two. Or 10. Just to give you a slightly different experience, we're going to do the whole afternoon drive in reverse. Space to turn around there. 